Time is 0200 hours. It's pitch black. The war is nearing its end and Allied forces are moving into the German heartland. Strategic bombing has destroyed several German weapon facilities, but one in particular seems to be up and running almost immediately. Allied Central Command has sent in a special crack team to investigate what's happening in this important facility, so they are prepared before the invasion. So we're using the 0200 hours rules, a skirmish game for missions at night. Lewis, you've got the SAS Commando team. How are you feeling? It's 0200 hours. Ooh. Pitch dark. Mm -hmm. An SAS crack team. Special air service soldiers led by a Scotsman, a Highland Major, and his friend, Captain Price, are <laughs> infiltrating this facility. We've also got a couple of demo men armed with satchel charges to blow up anything they find. A sniper, ghost. Ghost. Code name Ghost. <laughs> and a, a fellow with a cup of tea. <laughs> Everyone will play their role as we try to defeat Perian Flax's dastardly Germans. My dastardly Germans know you are coming, not sure when or, or from which direction, but we are very <laughs> carefully patrolling our secret base. You saw the bald commandant. Yeah! <laughs> and I like to think this is the bald brotherhood origin. Absolutely. This is where it all started, on the fields of Westphalia. Mm -hmm. The Ooh. bald brotherhood was born. Actually, that doesn't sound good. I don't want you the don't bald brotherhood to be associated with Nazi Germany. <laughs> <laughs> He's just bald and I was drawn to him. I'm helping the boys were basically just a bunch of lads that we rounded up. Some dogs, one has a flashlight, but I've also got some other guys off the board that if the alarm is raised will come zooming out and of course die heroically, but uh, yeah, that's that's it. And start of the game, Green Flex, you're gonna have a set patrol route. Half your guys are asleep in the barracks, yeah. and the other half are wandering around the facility looking out for trouble, but no one ever usually comes by. No one usually comes. We've got a pretty fixed route. I felt like a well-trained crack team might be able to make a sort of move on us, take advantage of our fixed patrol routes, but mm. we'll see. We shall see. So the Highland Major Hamish and his assistant deployed on this building here at the back. And the first thing I did was see in the bombed out building an objective mm. marker on the ground. There's five of them on the map and they have varying level of value. I don't know how much value they have, but I need to get at least five value off the battlefield. So the first thing I did was move my major down twice, quickly, because I noticed there were no guards around this area, into the building to secure that objective. Very sneaky. <laughs> I hope the Scottish viewers really enjoy this one. I know is I this, am. Is this Captain Major Shrek? <laughs> I... Donkey! Is that what we're going to call T-Boy? T-Boy is donkey. donkey. Keep up, donkey. Keep up, donkey. <laughs> Meanwhile, my lads, mm -hmm. on patrol, very efficient. Hmm. Marching in a square <laughs> around the middle of the map. My commandant, for some reason, though, just kept going back and forth, back and forth, just keeping an eye on things, a nice bit of oversight. Good hmm. management. Yeah. So I should point out at this point, most of uh, your forces either have to follow their strict patrol route or move almost randomly. Yeah. And um, you're given limited options about how you can move here. We can't see any of Lulu's units yet. Hmm. They're all basically hidden, so yeah, it was, we just had to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Whistling okay. a jaunty Bavarian tune. So Pirin had one particularly vigilant stickler for the rules with a mm. flashlight, particularly observant guard right over here. So I moved my demoman up behind him because they can only see in front of them. Mm. And I was hoping he would walk away and give me a chance to move behind him. Of course, that didn't happen. Now, in this game of 200 hours, every unit gets a token. The tokens all go in a bag along with three time tokens. When the three time tokens are drawn, the turn ends immediately, and any units that haven't yet activated lose their chance to act. So the longer you wait, the more you risk you might not be able to do anything. Yeah, it was actually probably one of the most important mechanics, I think. Yeah, so in turn one, the time ran out pretty quick. When the time ticks over, the Germans become more observant, and eventually they are alerted that there's an attack going on, mm -hmm. and everyone is woken up, which I did not want to happen. Yeah. So I needed to stay as quiet as possible, make as little noise as I could. Mm -hmm. So everyone's running up. My assistant to Hamish Donkey, he, he managed to get a little bit of distance and nearly made a noise, but covered himself at the last second. Mm. Well, that slowed him down a fair bit. But me waiting for the stickler to move mm. meant that actually my, some of my better units didn't get to act before the time ran out on turn one. You waited too long. Wasn't the most predictable man after all. Good old stickler. So as always, the defender goes first. So at the start of turn two, Purin gets to act. He draws the trooper token. Who do you pick? The Stickler. Oh, 
dished. Get that flashlight out and try and spot some uh, some SAS boys. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's doing his little patrolling thing, because at this point I can't really sort of tell him where to go. He just walks towards yeah. his patrol point. But he got a turnaround. What was that in the bushes? Did I hear something? Mm. Nine. What well, was that? Oh. Uh, look, just uh, checking out the tank traps. Must there could be a tank attack any moment! <laughs> But he didn't spot him, unfortunately. No, he got lucky enough to turn around, but not quite lucky enough to see what was there. Yes, they disguised themselves well. <laughs> they just freeze. <laughs> they look like tank traps. <laughs> Pretend to be a tank trap! <laughs> <laughs> it worked! <laughs> so I've effectively I've got eight noise that I can make. And the stickler had basically pinned my mm. two demo men in place. Yeah. Well, that's it, because that cover they had of the tank traps is really sparse. If they move at all, it's not like a, a wall that they can scurry along the side of. Like, if they move even slightly, he's got them. Yeah. So I was like, I need to take a shot. Ghost needs to take him out. Right. Uh, so Cup's blown! Go in weapons hot! inside weapons hot! <laughs> so we open fire. Oh! oh! He's wounded! The worst possible outcome. <laughs> yeah, you'd have been better off missing him yeah. than winging him. The worst possible outcome. <laughs> And Stickler so, hates being shot. He made sure everybody knew about it. That was so frustrating because suddenly I leapt up one for the shot, three for him crying out, yeah. and I was on like seven noise. And you didn't even kill him. And he was still alive. <laughs> <laughs> so he's screaming away in this bunker. Yeah, he even um, dives into the coal shed. He gets an extra um, like reaction. He's and crawled gets to in. Duck and cover. So I had no choice but to send in my special operations executive assassin, Captain Price. Captain Price. He steps straight out into the open. Oh, yes. bam! And finishes him off with a pistol. Oh. Luckily, it's silenced pistol. Silenced pistol. Should have just started with that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I did wonder. <laughs> well, the, the rifle was more likely to kill. Right. It was going to make some noise, but if it killed him, it wouldn't have caused that much alarm. It would have just yeah. been like, what's that noise? It was a very bad roll, very unlucky roll. Well, the thing is, none of us can see each other. I know it's a bit weird, but mm. none of us can see each other. So you have to spot them in the darkness with some of your troops so they can be like. Mm -hmm. So every, you know, the demo men were like, this guy, this guy, take him out. Mm -hmm. And so we're all. We're all beelining onto this <laughs> yeah. guy. Um, the last thing I wanted to do was leave Captain Price in the open, but I felt like I had to take the risk. I, think I had to take him down, down to, yeah. and shut him up before the alarm was raised. But I already, the stick does not respond on the radio. People know what's going on. <laughs> he normally rep he gives us updates every two minutes. Yeah, that's he's his stickler. That's what we know him for. <laughs> so I was I was thinking I'm in trouble. I've barely moved up at all, mm. and already the alarm is basically about to go off. Mm. So I had to be really really careful. I was waiting for that alarm. I was desperate. And knowing, of course, the closer we get every turn, the closer it is, it's going to automatically go off at some point. But until then, you just have to carry on patrolling. Back to the patrols. Your guys are now more suspicious because they have heard noises and they yeah. think something's up, so they get extra dice when spotting. And, and still the commoners just stomping around in the middle and the lads are just walking in circles. And all my reserves in the bunker, none of them can come out till the alarm is raised. So mm -hmm. we're just sort of waiting to be jumped. There's a chance my guys will make noise any time they move. Mm -hmm. um, but I got quite lucky and didn't roll any any noise. Um, and I managed to get Hamish into the warehouse and have a look at the objective in there. When I flipped it over... Oh, it's up zero! Oh, oh. You said we put it on the ground in the destroyed building. Of course, we're just that stupid. <laughs> where, where shall we put the important information? Just leave it on the ground! <laughs> I was very disappointed to find it was a zero. Nil point. What were you even looking at? <laughs> That's gravel! <laughs> Not secret Nazi gravel! <laughs> Just gravel! Turns out um, like the bombed out building didn't have anything valuable in it. No, there was nothing we could learn from the gravel. So at the top of turn three, Pyrian's lads are still wandering around mm. in a circle doing German stuff and I've got a little bit more chance. So I'm like, I'm just gonna get my demo man up to this flipping, do a cool move. I'm gonna go on the roof, jump down onto the van, <laughs> get the objective right from under yeah. his nose use this time. Well, no one ever looks up in stealth games, do they? It's the perfect place to be. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I triggered my trap card. Blam! Dangerous objective. Careful, oh. might be rigged. Every time you get a time token, oh, yeah. which delays your turn, mm -hmm. you get a little card as a bonus. Mm -hmm. And some of them are not very useful. Some of some us of like them. getting them, some of us don't. <laughs> I really enjoy getting them, because I had some really cool ones, because the Defender ones are very much cooler, I think. Maybe. So I had a little trap card that meant that you got too close to the objective, set off a little booby trap. Smarts check. Yes, yes, a smarts level two. Well, so, yeah, smart. <laughs> 
Oh, oh no, okay. they passed. They got two. It. Damn it. But unfortunately, it, it didn't work. It didn't kill you, but uh, it shook you up a little bit. I think maybe it was like a trip wire or something, and my guy was going to fall off the roof. Right. But his friend, like, grabbed him. Because they were working together. Of course, they my were lads. besties. <laughs> so I was poised in the centre to grab that objective next turn. Mm -hmm. um, and I was still under cover of darkness. But my wily dog handlers, one of them spotted you, mm. made a little recon check. Achtung! It's our men on the roof! How did we not see them already? Yep. There were two lads on the roof. The jig is up. Alarm raised. Sirens are blaring everywhere. Whoop, 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 whoop. At the start of next turn, all of your reinforcement tokens go into the bag. Hell yeah. It was hyped. This alarm got raised way earlier than I was expecting. I thought we'd be deep into turn five. Yeah, that failed kill on the German early on really put me back. However, I had made some progress up the right hand side. Mm. Hamish and Donkey had found their way quite far towards the ending and I actually spotted a bunch of Germans while remaining hit. Yeah, mm. that was big. Because I can now see your Germans in the darkness. I had a spotter, you know, Hamish is going, ghost. <laughs> he taking down? Was he on a mobile phone? He's <laughs> got one of them like, you know, Ghost in position, over. Ghost, you were not in position, over. <laughs> Ghost in pos position, over. I don't know where to go. <laughs> and yeah, so Ghost down Kill Alley. Mm. Um, this is deliberately why I set him up here, so I could cover this half of the map. Really, really Took well. him out. Deadly, straight through the head. <laughs> No survivors. The dog has turned into a box and now he's leaning against it. <laughs> he was just dragging a box around, that's why we didn't spot him. Oh, it wasn't him. a dog, <laughs> it wasn't a dog, it was just a box. No wonder he was so in yeah. <laughs> well, That was great shooting, because now this dog handle is out of the way, Hamish has got a clear run to the next objective. Yeah, that was my goal really, was to get Hamish, because he's a hero, he gets to move twice, mm -hmm. I wanted to get him forward, get these two objectives on this hand side, mm -hmm. and bring him back. So you get up on top of here, you're already on the second objective, there's what, three other tokens out there? Mm -hmm. I was starting to sweat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had no lads on this side of the, the field now, with Not the dog yet. handler gone. But it was next to the bunker, so I was thinking, alright, next turn we've got to come out, but... Because I hadn't spotted him, we can't mm -hmm. even run towards him. We have to go towards what we've seen, which is just these two putzes on the roof. These guys on the roof were the only guys you could see. You were forced to move towards them. Yeah, as far as your lads know, they're the only guys here. That's it. It's the only party in town. So spotting these uh, these British SAS lads on the roof, my SMG lads gave them a quick burst, but to no avail. No, oh, it's close. It was close. I had to roll ones to save them both, <laughs> and I did. So in fact, I really got out with the skin of my That's teeth. That's true, yeah. You got lucky twice on that roof. Yeah, the good guys were getting the good rolls, which was needed, honestly. I was in a bit of trouble. So turn four. The Brits were all over you. It was a fantastic turn. Started off with the two demo men jumping into the van, <laughs> pushing it forward and having a look. <laughs> it was weird. So as you rummage through the back of the truck, you find crates and crates and crates of what looks like fresh salmon on ice. We love the taste of fresh salmon. But yeah. we're miles from the ocean. <laughs> we put it on the trucks and... Uh... What's Ooh, going yeah. on here? Well, I don't know. Maybe if you'll find more intel, you'll find some cream cheese and perhaps some cucumbers. <laughs> and then you will know what we are up to. Our fiendish plan to drop delicious sandwiches on Britain. <laughs> but we secured the two points mm. objective. Uh, we need to get them back to the side of the board. So we huddled down behind the van. I want to sick a dog on someone. And a dog attacked us. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you thinking? I'm just thinking, unleash the hounds while you can. Get the dog in there, try and tie them down. Because I knew these lads have to get out. So anything I can do to slow them down, that's winning. So yeah, the dog charges in. Get him, schmutzy! Okay. Nine. Right, so you got one hit. Doesn't kill anyone. Doesn't quite manage Carries to kill them them. amidships, slows them down. Yeah, not only does it keep them stunned and pin for this turn, but also they're not going to get to act next turn either because they're so busy fighting off this dog that's ravaging them. And bandaging their wounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't mind them being a distraction though because it gave me a chance to secure the other objective in the back mm. of this chimney building. That was another two point objective, very pleased. Yeah. Okay, four points, that is amazing. Now inside you find the remains of cremated animal parts. What are they doing in this place? All part of the plan. So I now know I just need one more objective and it's one of those back two. Everything's looking up, Lewis. Perfect. Yeah, you got four points, you need a single point. So if you can scan either of those last two objectives and get out, you're yes. golden. So at this point, I want to get my reinforcements out as fast as I can. And over the next couple of turns, I got the scientist out. Herr Doctor! 
Herr Flax! Herr Dr. Flax! I got the machine gunner out, start laying down some suppressive fire. In the meantime, I think my commandant ran and had a shot at your lads as well, but missed. <laughs> he did have a go at it. So we were starting to mobilize the forces. Things mm. were maybe stabilizing, but I was very worried. Most of my mm. lads, we didn't get a chance to get them out of the barracks. It is time for Pyrian. Time check. Thank time you, check. Shit, so half your lads just don't even like get out of bed in time. Yeah, they're just bloody useless, Ben. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> right, so. But it did mean you got a lot of cards. I love those cards. <laughs> we'll see what they do in a minute. Yeah, I think, well, now, obviously, you had so many more men than me. It meant that my guys were getting to go. So the last two objectives I needed were on this left-hand side. Mm -hmm. And I had Captain Price there. I was like, I think I can sneak him around the side. So I rolled my run, and of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, you really, really want a sneaky... He revealed himself. He's Big like, loud I'm run. making way too much noise. <laughs> so I actually turned him around, ran him around the side of this building and got him up behind this van as well, supporting the demo guys, thinking that I could jump in the middle and get the commandant before all these reinforcements came out. Yeah. Mm. It was a race. Turn so. 17. No, wait. Turn five. Five. <laughs> a little off. <laughs> so turn five. I'm still advancing. Hamish and Donkey going up this right flank and sneaking around the side. I actually got Donkey ready to throw a grenade off the top of that chimney building. We had a lot of lads coming out of this building. Like they're all just by nature, they, they're gonna group up. It was a great spot to be. But he got spotted. He did get spotted. So yeah, I'm trying to get as many reinforcements out as I can onto the board. More sets of eyes, more guns. They have to run towards a sniper. Still pretty much the only lad we've seen. They come running out. What happens? We spot donkey. There's a donkey on the roof. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why they're not German. There's a donkey on the roof. Yeah, so you were forced when you brought these reinforcements out to either move them towards the, the demo crew in the middle or the sniper, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I thought you weren't going to go in sniper alley. <laughs> Uh, but, and I deliberately wasted a turn of him thinking that you weren't going in there. And as soon as you put troops in there, I was delighted. <laughs> so Ghost was waiting the whole last turn oh. for someone to come into range. Finally, some action. So I instantly <laughs> opened up, sniped that squad that the reinforcements that had just come out, mm -hmm. took one of them out, yeah. the other one surrendered. Hands is down! Oh, <laughs> there's a sniper! <laughs> so he's making it bang! And he's like, I surrender! I surrender! Without question! <laughs> Please! <laughs> so now there's two bodies and a surrendered person in Death Alley. But actually, that gave you the, the ability to pour more guys into it. So now I've got my scientist, I bring out his chum, gas mask guy. The scientist throws a, a cocktail of acidic chemicals at, towards Donkey, but of course he misses, he's got a weak scientist's arm. Too much time pushing pencils. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he missed. But I was really worried about Donkey, because I guess there's unlimited grenades. He bought tons. He's, yeah. He's just going to be chucking He's Mills one bombs for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> He's in a powerful position, and you were really in trouble. It was the sniper coming down here, grenades coming off the roof. But the, the sniper alley, Lewis, I know you were like, why do you keep putting guys there? But uh, uh, there's nowhere else to go. I know, I didn't we think it would work so out. well. Yeah. If I was playing against Ben, he would have put no one in sniper alley. But you were like, I'm just going to put everyone in sniper yeah. alley. He, he can't, can't shoot them all. all. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fair, he needed to try and spot Donkey. Donkey was like in a critical spot. If he just milled around outside and got grenaded, it would have been, it would have been real bad. It would have been bad. It was proper SAS positional it was. locations. Yeah. Sure. It was great stuff. <laughs> I'm sure they'll say that in the comments. <laughs> just like when I was actually in the SAS, proper positional stuff. Yeah, we're going to use this video as training. <laughs> to make all our new recruits watch it. <laughs> I love playing that with you guys. Captain Price is up next. What's oh, yeah. Price you got in store? So Captain Price, of course, fearless. Fearless. Run straight into the middle, engage your commandant in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Bring it on. A bold move. So if you fuck this up, you have to say we'll get him next time. <laughs> we stabbed him. Mm -hmm. Hey! He's okay. He <laughs> laughed it off. <laughs> we created a potion in our lab to resist a single stabbing, you foolish English. Which was not good. And they got in a bit of a tussle. You go for the heart, you end up catching him in the left shoulder. And he's like, ha! Ah, I have nerve damage. I cannot feel my left arm. <laughs> you fool. That is why I was stabbed last time. <laughs> but then I've still got my MG team. And I'm, I wanted to take a shot at Pricey. But if I do, Ben's like, you're going to hose your command commandant with bullets. Yeah. So they did the only thing good soldiers do. They charged Captain Price. Mm, but they didn't get it. They were more afraid of accidentally hitting the commandant than Indeed. of the assassin himself. Yeah. And then the commandant stepped back. Just took a shot at Pricey. So you need a one? Shit! Missed. 
This guy is indestructible. I was terrified. But the important thing is that although you didn't get to kill him, you bogged him up and forced him to defend himself yes. from the MG team, which meant he lost his second action this turn. Yeah, which I knew Lewis was unhappy about. So my final action for the turn was a couple of moves with Hamish. This was a long turn. Mm. I got all of my commander actions out and Hamish managed to make a long sprint, very long sprint, into that building at the back. Yeah. Um, I was lucky to do it and I was lucky to keep him invisible. So he was out of sight. Yeah. He didn't get spotted. So he wasn't really a very easy target yeah. for Pyrian to grab. He was right next to the, the second to last piece of evidence. I was like, this is a disaster. So this was critical because when you move, you have white dice and black dice. And the white dice have a chance of giving away your position, whereas the black dice don't. When you sprint, you roll a lot of white dice. There was a very high chance he was going to be so noisy that they'd spot him. But somehow he not only managed to stay quiet, but he also managed to run really far. They greased up his legs. <laughs> greased legs. <laughs> Grease me up, woman. Grease me up, donkey. <laughs> this was the best turn. Mm. Turn six. My absolute favorite turn. Everything happened this turn and it was just chaos. Ben had told me before the game. I don't think he told you anything about this. Nothing. He told me, you've got a kind of a secret Wunderwaffe weapon. He didn't tell me anything about it. it just something at the base was gonna, maybe I could use it, set mm. it off, and who knows, it might, it might turn the tide. Unleash the whatever it is. <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> I did warn you though that it was unreliable and might cause you more harm than your opponent. Unreliable, but he didn't tell me it was bears. Kriegbaren are unleashed upon the battlefield! <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> Two gigantic bears came flying out of this building, the last building left that hadn't been searched or, or been near, the one that Hamish was in. Two gigantic cyborg bears, pumped yeah. full of testosterone, they'd been tortured and experimented on for days. Rawr, they came popping out of the building, I thought, fantastic, they can help me defend against Hamish. <laughs> yeah. But then Ben was like, right, now you can't control the bears. And effectively they are wild third party creatures. They're not on anyone's side. And I was like, okay, what have I done? <laughs> yeah, so they're not, it's not a ready weapon. They haven't finished training the bears. They are gonna like move and respond semi-randomly. Their tokens will come out of the bag at random and they'll move in a random direction and just literally attack the nearest thing they can reach and rip it apart. I just have to hope it's not one of our guys. <laughs> yeah. But we were so close to losing, I thought, sod it. Wunderbuff and whatever, do it. Yeah, I mean, you don't be, get given a big red button before a game and not press it. <laughs> you press the button. <laughs> so obviously, I wanted to get Hamish out of there. <laughs> yes. Uh, however... Not so fast, Herr Brindley. Pyrian wouldn't let me. I played a card. My mm. Fiendish... Nope, put that back. You can only play a trooper card. <laughs> the quote is, don't try and stop me! <laughs> <laughs> Which is uh, very annoying because I was very... There's two bears <laughs> and there's a ticking timer on them, and if they point in the wrong direction, Hamish was gonna get savage. I was like, well, I need a distraction. So I put some demo charges mm. into the van. What that does is that causes a big smoke and it puts a couple of your guys undercover again mm. so they can sneak around. However... Not so fast, Herr Brindley. <laughs> as I was trying to rig the charges... A fiendish plan of ours was to make them faulty. <laughs> so you were going to not be able to place them. Yeah, instead of rolling three dice to try and prime the charges, you now only got to roll one dice as you had to jury rig these explosives back together again with corrupted wires. If we blow up this van, it'll cause a diversion which will <laughs> distract all these bloody Nazis and help us get away with this evidence what they have a war bears. Stop explaining what's happening. <laughs> oh, he got it anyway. How are you? I did it just fine. <laughs> However, not so fast, Herr Brindley. <laughs> oh my God, how many cards are you going to play? <laughs> Attacker sets a demo charge. The demo charge explodes immediately. Oh! oh! Boom! <laughs> it's a perfect <laughs> plan. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. That was the worst thing. You wanted to wait for this, like, distraction for exactly when you needed it. Yes. But I got it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> At the loss of one of my poor demo men yeah. who was blown up in it. Oh, they've been through so much together, Ben! <laughs> <laughs> me and my friend were playing co-op! He's... I can't can resurrect him, Ben. His internet's down. <laughs> I'm gonna press F. He's gone. <laughs> Press F on him. An absolute disaster. Yeah, the other guy is like covered in rubble, but fine and invisible in the dust cloud. So, mm. actually turned out to be not as bad as I thought. And a silver lining is that it's such a big distraction, this massive explosion burning in the middle of the night. 
it lets one of your other guys slip into the dark as well, which was Donkey. Mm. Perfect distraction. Perfect. So almost all of my army is invisible at this point. We can only see Ghost again, I think, and Pricey. Yeah. Oh, of course, Bryce right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Silhouetted by this raging inferno behind him. So now obviously the bears are loose, the secret mm. is out of the bag, but these bears are not best pleased. And one of them <laughs> spots the person responsible for all this mistreatment. Uh, any chevrons at all will be a death. Really? He's, oh, yeah. he's double dead. The bear yeah. rips limb from limb and hair commandant I like, I like screaming. to think, man, the commandant would spend his spare time teasing the bears. <laughs> and as a result, this is a justified bear revenge. <laughs> All right, let's look for a stick to ruffle their cages with. <laughs> <Yeah>. Stupid little <laughs> bears. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Running up and down the cages. Oh, I'm a big scary bear. Oh, nine, nine. I'm the commandant, you do what I say. He got what was coming to him. <laughs> he did. And he was bold. Who likes bold people? <laughs> They deserve to have bears sicked on them. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> if I'd said that, you'd be cancelling me. Yeah, I'm allowed to say <laughs> that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the B card. B card. So then, <laughs> so then my MG team decides to kill Pricey, who's been obnoxious in the middle of the map. So they took a step back and hosed him full of bullets. Obliterated it. Yeah, point blank range with a light machine gun. They were very lucky, right? <laughs> what you could have done instead was run them away from the bear, but no, you just trusted that the bear would not eat them. Exactly. And you got lucky, the bear just went Rawr! and didn't eat them. Yes, the other bear was like Rawr! nothing. But yeah, these two bears were running rampant in the middle of your army. That was the plan. And you were getting rid of the, the targets to fall them. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a great move. That's true, by killing the only Brit in the bear area. <laughs> but I mean, we're not going to make... Uh, if he runs off or disappears or some assassin shit, we're dead anyway. I may as well kill him while we can. Yeah, you got him. What are you going to do about that, Lewis? Pricey's dead, what now? Well, don't worry. He didn't really have any useful intel anyway. <laughs> and the bears had, were, were sort of distracted. So Hamish got an opportunity to properly sprint all the way down this left-hand side. He did two big moves behind the little guard post and then down the barbed wire. It was like chariots of fire. It was he ridiculous. He was full-on sprinting away and from And still me. didn't like make a noise or trip up or anything. He just got perfect rolls sprinting. Yeah. <laughs> Successful mission, lads! <laughs> <laughs> We're going all! However, the dog did spot him, actually, as he ran good by. Good old, good old And a whistle Schwartzy. went off. You spotted him. Excellent. Bork, bork, bork! Bork, bork, bork. <laughs> and they were like, this guy's getting away with his intelligence. <laughs> He's wearing a skirt. <laughs> so yeah, it was, uh, it was a, a good moment. But I felt like I was in a position where if I could get Hamish back, because he'd done a full circuit. He'd literally done a full lap of the map. Um, <laughs> yeah. If I could get him back, if I could pull out a couple of other people, mm. I was in a really good place to win. Definitely. So turn seven, this is no longer a fight, this is now a chase. We've got the demo men, we've got Hamish trying to get off the map. If they both get off the map, we lose. We have to stop one group. We have to catch demo man, so I decide I'm gonna move my lads up. Even though it's sniper alley, even though ghost is out there sniping us down and we're walking past all these corpses, we've got to do it. It's all there is to it. We just mm -hmm. go forward and try and spot him. And what's your binoculars one? You need ones. Damn it. But he's well hidden in the smoke and it didn't pay off. Luckily, however, Lewis doesn't get a chance to act. He pulls a time token. Time. Fuck so you, off. You get one of those cards that you've been really wanting? Yeah, you wanted a card, now you've got a card. What does it say? Throw, throw this card angrily on the table. You I was card. hoping for anything. <laughs> That's true. Right? Hamish token would have gotten Hamish away. The price, the, the demo man token would have got demo. I could, I was just, and I got the worst option. Good old time token. But you got a card, Lewis. Cards are great. Yeah, we'll see. Well, you thought it was bad drawing time tokens or whatever. Reflex you get? A bear. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course the bears will just attack whatever they bump into first. They're bears. And my LMG team happened to be the nearest thing. It happens. They got eaten. Rawr! <laughs> Got an himmel! Well, one wrong. of them got eaten. One oh, yeah. of them was fine. Yeah, well, that's it. He probably just pushed his mate in the way and yeah. was like, I'm out of here. I don't have to outrun the bear hunt. Yeah, I, just I just have to outrun you. Strapping on my paratrooper boots extra tight. That's true, I could have had it worse. Oh, fuck, this gets another fucking time. <laughs> We're getting so cross. He was very. He was actually getting really cross. 
because I was like, if I draw a third time token, and it's just going to give you so much more chances to grab me and find me, and I was like, I'm so close to winning this game. <laughs> just need to move. I need to get both of my guys out. I so, think the yeah. next thing was my scientist sprang into action. He didn't did, he? yeah. Seizing the moment. Ah, there's only one way to stop a running Scotsman, a running bear. <laughs> if he can pass a smart check, he can use his. He can go no, <laughs> nine naughty bear. <laughs> He needs a three. Yes. He gets it. Sure. So let's move the bear. So you can control the bear. What is this <laughs> finagling? Sent a bear scurrying after Hamish and we were closing on him. You could see he was worried. Very worried. Yeah. So I couldn't like sick him on him yet, mm. but I could at least point him in the right direction and mm. give him a little push. Not have him like eat the dog. <laughs> eat the dog guy. <laughs> he just stood next to him. Okay. Yeah, yeah fine, carry on. Like a small bear. Yeah. <laughs> so then Hamish did get to run and I managed to get a decent pace mm. away. He was a hell of a runner. Uh, across some wreckage, across some rubble. He's still going like the clappers. Yeah. He's one move away from getting out of the base now. Yeah. One Hamish token and he's away. So Hamish may be getting away, maybe, but I, these demo men still got to get out of here. So I moved some lads up into Sniper Alley. Ghost has got to miss at some point, Ben, I'm thinking. And we spot the demo men, demo man at this point because we killed one. And we're going to set up, we're going to shoot him next turn. I get to go first. Go, 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 go. What are you going to do? Yeah, so he was revealed, which meant I had to play one of my cards I've been holding. I've got to do a diversion, Ben. Oh. Donkey sacrificed himself heroically, shouted, Over here! Ah! Threw a grenade. Oh, I love the imagery of him climbing over the rubble going, Ay, Get me! Lobbing bombs, screaming, waving his arms. It's a great grenade. It was actually a wonderful moment. I three of my lads in the blast. Blew up a ton of Germans. Sniper Alley, the corpses were God. piling up. Yeah, and that, that gave my demo man a chance to get back undercover. Yeah. Which was really important. That was a really nice feature It meant you couldn't shoot him. Yeah, he yeah, was in the darkness. But poor old donkey, he's very exposed. He had to climb over the rubble and not only reveal himself and shout, but also get out of cover to be in range. Yeah, so it meant he was really at risk. And I was not prioritizing saving him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So turn eight, remember, Pyrrhon is always going first because he's a defender. I need to get both Hamish and the demo man out of there. And I'm like dreading anything that comes up. There's a guy with a dog. There's a bear bearing down. There's troops everywhere. I don't know what's coming out. But I'm really worried. I'm just going to draw bloody time tokens or something. And your lads are just going to run off the map. So it, it was super, super close. It's bear time. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good outcome for me. We drew a bear token. And the bear at this point, I can't control it. I just have to roll and hope that I roll perfectly and the bear runs straight for Hamish and kills him. That's literally my entire plan. So it's basically a 50-50 if you can roll a seven. Yeah. Oh! oh! He's hungry for Scotsman. Let's go. But I just, uh, you know. Roll perfectly. Just, just pulls it off, just gets the big <laughs> sprint and the right direction amazing. and <sighs> leaps on Hamish and just, there's only so fast a man can run, Lewis. This was the worst <laughs> moment for me in the game because I saw my chance of winning crumbling. I was like, oh my God, there is a giant bear right on my side of the map, savaged my Highland Major, took all, stood on all of the, the, the stuff I needed to get yeah, off the map. <laughs> yeah. I had a demo man and, a, and ghost, and I thought, what am I gonna do? Um, it's a time token for Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> so, I drew a time token and did nothing. <laughs> it's another card. Fuck off. <laughs> Please don't do anything. I was, again, so angry. Like I was like, what is the worst thing that could happen to me right now? Oh, I do nothing. <laughs> Well, so I had the doctor at this point, mm -hmm. and then he was far too far away really from the, the, the anything else happening over there. But I also knew that the lads I did have were in danger from this bear. Mm. So I wanted to move the bear towards Donkey, at least get him towards a, an enemy so that if the bear activates again, it's going to go for one of his guys and not all of mine. Yeah, that's a smart move because you couldn't, you couldn't interrupt uh, the action. So just make sure you don't lose any more men to a bear. Exactly. That makes sense. But I had something up my sleeve. I had a heroic move. Yes. The SAS are known for their heroism, I and mean, this guy's done a lot. He's been on the roof, he's gotten shot, he's he's looked in a salmon Blew van, himself up. he's blown a van up, his <laughs> mates died, he's gone undercover multiple times and disappeared and reappeared, and so he came running around the back of the building, mm. open fire on the bear, yeah. unbelievably, kill this bear, shoot it down. Blamo! Dead bear! 
took it down. It was ridiculous. It was some hot rolling. Just I one tap. I had no idea how tough this bear was. I didn't know whether it was going to just go roar and it was going to do nothing. That's what I thought. I thought this bear is going to take like 10 hits. So went bang and the bear just fell over. Turns out the bear just fell over or slinked away. Maybe he got scared. No, he was dead. But it Turns dropped. out, you know, submachine gun's pretty good against bears. Pretty good. And suddenly, I had a chance. <laughs> and I was like, ah, it was like the light shone. The lights came on yeah. and I was like, I can still get out of this. All you have to do is pick up that intel and get off the map. Yes. And you're golden. So Ghost, instead of shooting down Sniper Alley mm -hmm. at the oncoming troops, he also used the card, Coordinate, to get my demo man to move and him together towards the intel, yeah, securing it. Yeah, I was super it. worried at this point. And then it really was up to you to stop him. Well, first things first, Lewis. We've got to take care of that bastard donkey. The scientist is so angry at seeing this distraction possibly win you the game that he throws a flask of acid at donkey. Starting to learn the rules by now. That's a, that's a kill. And turns it into a puddle of goo. <laughs> This is true. Oh, he's the real hero of this match. His distraction saved Demo Man, but in return, in his payment was to get melted <laughs> into <laughs> the <acid. laughs> <Like> Really hideous <laughs> <death>. <laughs> Really lingering, just almost oh, too long a shot of yeah. him just melting, crying, writing a letter home with his one arm as it's sinking Oh my god. It. Like he that guy in Robocop <laughs> who's just like, ah! Oh. Exactly. Oh god, and so just as I was celebrating my chances of possible winning, mm -hmm. I realized that you still had a German with a dog, you dog still had man. a bunch of guys running up Sniper Alley, and yeah. there were a bunch of outs. Yeah, mm -hmm. we had Fear. chances. And I was like, oh no. Because right at the end of the turn, that dog spots your demo man picking up the intel. Ooh, here we go. And the chase is on as we move into turn nine. So turn nine, mm -hmm. last chance saloon, mm. Lewis. Your lads are on the cusp of victory and there's one man and his dog that stand between them. I know, one German, all he needs to do is just pin me down or just bother me. Just pin him down, Just a little bit of time. Anything. Because you've got a mountain of troops barreling down. They're all running straight mm. for you, yeah. And time uh, is of the essence here. This is all about time. So the dog ran in, did a load of barking, did a load of biting. Yeah. yeah. You bought them both. No injuries. <sighs> but my demo man's got a dog at home. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he, had a, he had a pocket full of treats. Yeah, well, he, he had some, some salmon treats. left over. That some of that's getting that the, salmon. <laughs> chucks a little bit of the salmon. But they do fight each other to a stalemate. Both of them use up their actions. They both live, but they both can't move this turn. So that let you move up your troops a little bit more. Yeah, but they didn't move very far. They didn't move far yeah. enough. Mm. Yeah, you had a couple of bad dice rolls, and if you come around the corner, you could have possibly laid down some if possible. suppressing fire. Yeah. But it was just not quite enough. So uh, you need a one or a two to kill. It's 50 50. No! Nice. Boom! Headshot! Ghost took out the dog handler on the way. We grabbed the dog, we grabbed the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Off the battlefield to victory. Oh! Well, victory, the Germans still had their flipping war bears. Still got these dangerous bears talking about. Now we know how to make more of them. And more of them. That's true. No. But the Allies will be prepared. And when they do invade this area, they'll be on watch for dangerous bears. They'll bring honey to distract the bears. <laughs> There you go, that was, uh, <laughs> that was Games Night. Thank you everyone for joining us. What an amazing little mm, game. That's great. This is 0200 hours we played. Uh, yeah. We got, we got sent some of the scenery from Sarissa. Sarissa Precision sent make, us this lovely terrain. Them, which is nice. We it's do just, have to send it back. Which but it's is just ni nice not to be fighting in the same church again. It I is, know, isn't it? It? <laughs> It's really nice. <laughs> Except like five mm. videos. We've made this possible thanks to you guys, the members. Mm -hmm. So thank you very, very much. You get an extended, extra long, Members cut with so much bumps and garbage that got oh, cut out. This all of our video. chatting nonsense, loads of terrible <laughs> accents. It's all oh there. God. It's all there. Honestly, you're missing out if you're not a member. No, you're not. Uh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> you are. You are, for sure. Yes, we love you. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you.